y'all it's chef Ro, and welcome to my channel i'm super excited for this new journey on youtube follow me on instagram i'll leave the link down below i'll be showcasing my talents right here cake and cooking videos the best of both worlds right here on my channel so tell me what you guys want to see on my channel in the comments below now let's get into this video so in today's video i'm going to be creating a spider-man themed cake i use pretty simple and easy techniques to follow so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on so you'll see when i drop my next video so here i'm applying buttercream to my cake this is my foundation to most of all my cakes i start off with a buttercream foundation i'm making sure there's no cracks my edges are smooth so my fondant could apply flawlessly because nobody wants to see cracks in your fondant, dents in your fondant, um, and little imperfections that you could have avoided if you had a smooth buttercream base cake. So here I'm just making sure my edges are sharp, doing my one and twos, threes and fours. So yeah, it's pretty simple. If you guys want to see a video of me only buttercream and cake my cakes and my method to my madness leave a comment down below and i'll definitely i'll definitely do that for you guys so just leave that comment and i'll get to it so here's the finished buttercream base of my cake i leave it to set overnight and then i finish it the next morning so here's me rolling out some red Wilton fondant. I'm not sponsored yet, unfortunately, but that's the goal. <laughs> so I'm going to start cutting out the eyes first. I printed out a print out of some eyes and I just cut them out and now I'm going to trace them onto my fondant. I'm using a tool, like a razor kind of tool cutter-ish. Um, I'll leave the link down below for that also if anybody wants to know what i'm using you can get it from michael's or amazon they sell them pretty much everywhere yeah so i'm just gonna i'm just doing that real quick So after I cut out the red outer eye, I'm going to move on to the white inner eye. So I'm cutting out my cutout so I could then trace it onto some white fondant for you guys. So here I am rolling out some white Wilton fondant. I'm going to trace out my white inner eyes to apply it to the red outer eye. After I cut out the white inner eye, I'm using some water to apply at the back of the white inner eye and attach it to the red outer eye. And water does the job for most cases. Some people use edible glue, but it's not necessary for me. Water does it fine. I use water for my edible images banners like i'm doing now and it does the job after i finished the eyes and doing the banner i applied my edible image to the cake i used a little bit of water around the edges to stick it to stick it on the cake a little goes a long way because if you use too much you could mess up your image so be careful some using cornstarch to roll up my fondant so it won't stick to my table I normally panel all my cakes, but this one I needed to um, create a hooded effect. And you guys are gonna see that right about now. So the basic fondant techniques, if you guys wanna see me do a fondant application video, I could also do that as well. So comment below if you'd like to see me do paneling or regular old school fondant one-on-one. Um, yeah, I'm just cutting off the excess funnel that I don't need in the back and then I'm going to start trimming the front of it to create a hooded look. So I'm just working on the hooded effect, making sure it's up to par for my liking. Um, it takes some time, you know, cutting, making it 
make sure it's looking natural like flowy and you know just to your liking to your hooded like it effect so now i'm just going to add the eyes you want to make sure it's symmetrical you want to make sure it's not too low to the cape board and not too high up to the hood just right so this is me apply i applied it with buttercream yeah i use buttercream to apply the eyes and i'm just going to add the banner and we're good to go and here is the final finished cake i enjoy recording and editing this video for you guys today tell me how i did in the comments below leave a spider with emoji if you think i did a great job i'm so happy to start this journey it's been a long time coming but we're here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all in my next video chef row out